When most people think of valuable gemstones, they immediately think of diamonds. And with some samples selling for over $1 million per carat, it's easy to see why. But when it comes to rarity, diamonds don't even crack the top 10. These are three gemstones that make diamonds seem abundant. Coming in at number three, we have painite. And prior to the 1980s, there were only two specimens recorded. Even now, fewer than 1,000 samples have been discovered. Its color can vary anywhere from pink to reddish to brown, but it can even appear green under certain lighting. At number two, we have pudratite, a pale pink to purplish pink colored stone named after the Pudret family who owned the quarry in Quebec, Canada, where it was first discovered. Pudratite wasn't recognized as a new mineral until the late 80s, and today there are less than 50 known samples. At number one, we have tarphite. These stones can be anywhere from clear mauve to purple red. Until the 1980s, only three pieces of tarphite were known to be in circulation. In 2002, it was determined that there were a little more than 50 gems being circulated, with only about 10 of these to have the red coloring. But tarphite is still being discovered in new places, with samples being discovered in South Australia and Myanmar within the past decade. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite, and if you think Earth is awesome, subscribe for more.